Okay, we're told that the height of a particle is given by this function f of t equals 2t cubed plus 5t plus 9. Alright, so this is our position function, a lot of times denoted by s. We're first of all asked to find the velocity at time t. Alright, so to find the velocity function, the velocity function, sometimes referred to as v of t, is the derivative of the position function. So what we want to do to find this is take the first derivative. And to do so, let's go ahead and one term at a time use the power rule as we go through this. So the 3 comes down, gets multiplied by the 2. We get 6, t, and then we reduce the exponent by 1. So 3 minus 1 makes 2 for our new exponent. Plus, we have a linear term. The derivative there is just going to be the slope of that line you can think of it as, so 5. And then the derivative of a constant is going to be 0. So I could put a plus 0 at the end, but I don't really need to. Next, let's evaluate this. Let's find the velocity at 3 seconds. <clears throat> so f prime of 3. Evaluating this, we're going to substitute a 3 in for our t, which is going to work out to be, let me think, 6 times 9 plus 5. So 54 plus 5 works out to be 59. All right, because our first units were in feet, the next units are going to be in feet per second. All right, next let's find our acceleration at time t. The acceleration, many times we use a of t to represent acceleration, is the derivative of the velocity function, or v prime of t. In our case, because we've called it f, it's going to be f double prime of t, the second derivative. So I'm going to go back up to our first derivative and take its derivative using the power rule again. So the 2 comes down, gets multiplied by the 6, makes 12, and then we reduce the exponent by 1, so that'll be a t to the first power, and then the derivative of a constant, that 5, is going to be 0. So 12t is our, our second derivative of f, or the derivative of velocity function, or the acceleration function at time t. All right, next we want to evaluate this at t equals 3. So f double prime of 3. To evaluate this, we just need to plug a 3 in where the t is on the right-hand side for the formula we came up with. And this is going to be 36. And let me think, on our units, because it was feet per second for velocity, it's going to be feet per second divided by seconds, which works out to be feet per second squared. All right. Hope this helps out as you're working on um, finding velocity and acceleration functions and evaluating them at given uh, values. Good luck.